once again, we would like to thank you for tuning in to the Living Strong Television Network, where once again, I am your guest speaker, Prophet Scotty Lee Johnson, coming to you live right here out of the beautiful city of Ridgeland, South Carolina. Whosoever will outreach ministry, where the pastor is none other than Josie M. Bostick. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to Living Strong, this exciting 30 minutes that is coming your way right now, and it is the fastest 30 minutes of a lifetime. Also, I would like to say to you, call a friend, call a neighbor, and say, hey, Living Strong is on, tune in right now. We would also like to thank each and every one of you once again for giving the information out, passing the word of the Lord, and being continual supporters of Living Strong. Make sure that you take time, log in, sit down, and send a donation, and be a blessing to Living Strong TV. Okay? We are looking at something that's different on tonight. And what we are looking at is the fact that we know at the end of the service, I have a treat for you, we are going to be doing an interview with Pastor Bostick. For those of you who see normally the first 30 minutes, we want you to stick around for an additional 15 minutes so that this interview will be a blessing unto you. Now, let me also say to each and every one of you once again that are watching, we would like to thank you especially for the encouraging words that you're sending and the words that you're giving based upon what God is doing in your life and in the life of each and every individual. We are praying for you here at Living Strong. And it is important for you to remember that when you give, God is able to give back unto you. You must remember that it's very important to also know that whenever the Lord releases, he releases on the behalf, on the behalf of each and every individual, but he does it with patience. And the reason why God does it so much with patience is because he recognizing he recognizes the timing of a thing. And so since he recognized the timing of a thing, he allows the deliverance to come in at the right time based upon that timing. And I know that this is the timing for each and every one of you on tonight. And it's important for me to say to you tonight that the reason I'm taking my time is because tonight is a special night of prophetic release for you. And the reason why it is such a spe uh, special night for a prophetic release for you is because I'm going to minister tonight to the people of the Lord, to the people of God that are watching and those that are saying, Prophet Johnson, I've been waiting for that special word of the Lord. Well, tonight you get a chance to receive that. So, we're going to look in the book of Chronicles on tonight, chapter number 29, and we're going to deal with something here because the father began to speak to me about, about something that was very important. And he began to let me know that on Thursday night, I want you to begin to bring in a prophetic release. And tonight, I know some of you are feeling good about that already, right? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm taking my time. And tonight, there's going to be a, sp uh, a special prophetic release that is coming forth to each and every one of you that are watching because I know that he's going to save the best for last when we do the interview with Pastor Bostick here later. But I would like to share something with you in the book of Chronicles, 1 Chronicles, chapter number 29, and we're going to look at verse Number one, furthermore, David the king said unto all the congregation, everybody watching, Solomon, my son, whom alone God hath chosen, is yet tender, and the work is great, for the palace is 
not for man, but for the Lord God. Now, <coughs> David is acknowledging something here. He's acknowledging the fact that now Solomon is young and tender. And what's got to be coming in has got to be for the work of the Lord. What God does during prophetic release is that he brings something into your life to make it work finally, once and for all. And so he's reshaping, remolding, and resetting. So the Bible declares in verse number two, it says, now I have prepared, it talks about with all my might for the house of God, the gold for the things to be made of gold. Now he's going to go on down the line, talk about the silver, the brass. He's going to name all of that. And then he declares in the word of the Lord that verse number seven, and gave for the service of the house of God. Watch this. Gold, 5,000 talents, 10,000 talents of drams and of silver, 10,000 talents. Watch this. Listen to this. And they with whom precious stones were found gave them to the treasure of the house of the Lord by the hand of Jehiel the Gershonite. Prophet Johnson, why are you saying all of that? I didn't even read it all. I said all of that simply to say that when God's house is taken care of, everything in your house is taken care of. So based upon prophetic release, you've got to know that God is bringing adventure into time. There are people that are watching right now and you're saying, I've been waiting for this hour. We did the series on the power of a changed mind, dealing with your it's. The answer to your it's. Now tonight, he's bringing a special prophetic release because the Lord is saying to tell you that he's going to deal with insiders that are in your life. The insiders are the ones who are able to get close to you and to know you and to break down your ability to receive from the house of God. But this is why Jesus said on last night, Father, sanctify them with thy word, for thy word is truth. And so he bring you and I into a place to where the beckoning call of God bring forth deliverance in a mighty move. Because you begin to hear what God is saying and rejoicing begin to come in because the Lord is saying, you shall not die now where you are. This is why healing is taking place. The hour has come that each and every one of you, I feel this, that is connected to living strong, be delivered from every, every bit of it entity in every bit of watch this separation that the entities of your life have brought in and the Lord is saying total deliverance now something knocking on your door and so there's now a time to where something's chasing after you there are people right now that are watching that are halt between the two de decisions. <laughs> One decision is do I stay or do I leave? Do I walk out the door or do I just stay and watch living strong? Well, you know what? The best answer that you're ever going to get is coming right now. Because what the Father is releasing is something that is far more powerful than anything that you and I have ever experienced and he's saying this is the year that I'm going to bring you back and release evidence into your life. There's a person watching right now and you're saying God I'm tired of waiting. 
the Lord began to deal with me about something. And he began to let me know that even as you're waiting and deciding to go back to school or deciding what you're going to do based upon relationship or marriage, the father saying he's going to complete the package for you and allow all things to come together. Someone's been waiting to go up north. You need a ticket. 540 something dollars. The Lord is saying over that and much more is coming in. They're the person here that's, that's, that's watching. You have a, 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 your, your heartbeat. It's broken. It's, 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 it's erratic heartbeat. It's offset. There's an anointing coming to reset and restore that right now. There's a person watching. You've been saying, God, if I just had so much, $30,000. The Lord is saying, that is not enough. He want to give you $3 million. You're watching tonight. Somebody's been watching and you're saying, I'm just going to watch and see how long they're going to go. Just to see what they're going to do. Guess what? Sir, ma'am, mistake. Because what God is doing is that he's breaking through time for you and I. And he's saying, we do not have time to play around with lost time because if you would have moved before, then you wouldn't be late like you are now. This is why when the Lord spoke to Elijah, he said to Elijah, leave from the brook Cherith because Elijah sat by the brook Cherith. And the ravens, brought him bread and meat in the morning and in the evening. Isn't it amazing that the ravens fed Elijah? And God told Elijah, he said, get up from this place and go unto Zarephath, for I have commanded a widow woman to sustain thee there. Well, Elijah didn't know that he didn't need to go to the Zarephath for a widow woman to give him what God had given him already through the ravens. The first thing that people think is that Elijah is going to Zarephath because now he's ran out of food and he's got to go over there because the Lord said, I've commanded a widow woman to sustain thee there. No, Elijah was eating at McDonald's every day. McDonald's did not invent the Big Mac or the Quarter Pounder with cheese. Neither did Burger King, neither did Wendy's, nor any of your other favorite restaurant. In the book of Kings, we will find out that Elijah was brought meat and bread in the morning and in the evening. And all he had to do was take the bread and cut it in half and put the meat in between and put the bread on top. And Elijah had a Big Mac way back before Jesus was coming. <laughs> so the Big Macs and the hamburgers been around for a long time. Elijah invented that <laughs> without a doubt. And when he went to Zarephath, he didn't go there because he needed another hamburger. He went there because he had to speak into the widow's woman's life to get out of him a prophetic release so that she may live. She was about to make her last little bit of whole cake, her last little bit of pancake, her last little bit of waffle, her last little bit of guess what? Chicken nugget halfway sandwich crust. And she was going to eat it and probably give it to a little, little boy who was already losing weight, her son. 
and they were just going to lay down and die because they had given up on life. But God said, I'm sending someone your way that's going to bring a prophetic release into your life. And that prophetic release is going to change your life. You're after the wind. You're after the words that everybody else is speaking to you. But I'm telling you that your answer is at living strong because when they brought to the house of God, there was nothing missing. There was nothing lacking. And when they laid at the feet of the apostle, the Bible declares that he distributed unto all of them each according unto their will or according to their needs. So what God is doing for you now, you can just let everything else fly out the door. Because you have missed the blessing of God by running after everything else. And God is trying to tell you, your blessing is in Zarephath. You've been by this brook Chewith long enough, getting fed by the ravens, and you know the ravens in your life, they ain't nothing but a stingy bunch of spirits that you hang around that tries to siphon everything out of your life, and once they take you down to nothing, they hang you out to dry, all because they don't have the patience to sit down and listen to the fastest 30 minutes in broadcast that's going to change your life, and that's going to change their life forever, because this is a prophetic release as far as you in your house you are going to serve the Lord if God be for you who can be against you he's more than the whole world against you for a thousand shall fall at thy side ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee for the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want he shall bless your going out he shall bless your coming in the Lord is the keeper of your field I will lift up my head unto the hills from which come in my help in other words my my help coming from the Lord. So I lift my eyes unto the hills from which coming my help. Prophetic release. God is saying maintain. He's saying to tell you before the fifth month finish. This is a prophetic word. He says I am maintaining you and maintaining your resources. And he's saying that I am bringing evidence into your life to bring closure into your life. To let everybody know that you will not sit down and be mediocre. You will not settle for less and you were not born to be average prophetic release that's what God is talking about making sure that changes occur quickly somebody listening you were supposed to move within the third month January February March what month is this April <laughs> I don't know the months. January, February, March. One, two, three. You were supposed to move. You're supposed to be going to the month. Get your bags packed. Hurry. Go. Whew. Hurry. Your color is black. Okay? You got a black car. You were supposed to move. Hurry up and pack your bags. You are getting ready to go. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's receiving, I heard the Lord say $700 seed. Somebody need to sow a $700 seed. This is the stop what the enemy is trying to take from you. Even through Garner shearing, the Lord is saying he want to stop seven years of what the enemy want to take in your life. God want to give you a Joseph blessing. Someone listening, there's a return order coming. A return order. There's a person listening right now, something of valuable, antique is in your house. That's why the enemy is trying to drive you out, something valuable, antique. Almost like a vase. Look under the bottom of it. Check it out. 1837. <laughs> Flowers. Oh, check it out. That thing's worth some money. Okay? All right. It would be nice if, well, praise the Lord. I hope that you got it. I want to read a little bit further. The Bible declares in verse number 10, I'm excited because this is a prophetic release. Stand still and you shall see the salvation of the Lord. For yea, the Lord speak once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. 
So God opened up the ears of man, called the deep sleep to fall on him, put him to sleep, speak something inside your spirit while you are asleep, seal up your ear, wake you up, let you go through life, then open your ear and speak to you what he told you when you were asleep. Why did he speak that to you when you were asleep? Because you was too hard-headed to listen while you was woke. <laughs> Amazing how he did that in the book of Job. Is that true? Yes, Prophet Johnson, it's in the Bible. Job. So what he's doing is that he's turning once again your opportunity. Oh, my God. And he's stopping manipulation. And he's saying to tell you that, yes, progress is in motion. You done bit the bullet for the last time. Bit the bullet for the last time. There's somebody, you got children running all over the place. Look like they done tore up about three or four bunk beds. Just get the more hard metal ones that they can't tear up and bend. And God said to tell you that all those bad children, I'm praying for them tonight, which are blessed children, good children, because they're really chosen by God. But get a grip on them, because all of those good, blessed children that's been bad, each and every one of them getting ready to get their own room. Hallelujah. Five bedroom. Five. Oh, God is good. God is great. Yes, he is. Someone, once again, don't you be stubborn on the hearing aid. <clears throat> don't be stubborn on that, because the Lord is moving on your behalf. He's breaking forth on your behalf. The Bible declares in verse number 10, wherefore David blessed the Lord. I'm excited. Fastest 30 minutes in broadcast. It's coming your way. Halfway there, prophetic release. Don't move. Don't move. You will miss your hour by chasing after the wind. Don't go nowhere. Stay there. The best is yet to come. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, blessed be thou. Isn't it amazing when somebody bless you? People don't know the significance of a blessing sometimes. Hey, you ever seen folks that God tried to bless? And they sort of, oh no, don't give me that. I'm not worthy. <laughs> I, I meet people like that all the time. You know. And then, and then on the opposite end, you meet folks that say, oh, well, bless you. That's a difference. You know, they can bless you and you go on about your business. But it's different than being a blessing to you. And how about those ones that always say, well, when the Lord bless me. <laughs> you know, that we, we never get to meet those, those, those people, do we? Because we never see them get blessed by when the Lord bless me. But there are some that do come back. And thank God for the one that came back out of the ten that were healed. Prophetic release coming tonight. I feel this. Someone listening, watching. The Lord is saying you're going to have an hour of visitation. There's a daughter. There's a daughter that's going astray. And the Lord is saying to tell that parent to be patient. I'm turning that child back. I've said it again. Another person in prison is going to be released. There's another young lady. You're pregnant. And I would like for your parents to hear this tonight. Because the father is saying to tell the parents to be patient. Not to put her out. Love is the key. What is God doing? Returning back. There's someone right now, by faith, you're going to get rid of old furniture because you've got new furniture coming in. God is moving on your behalf. Wherefore, David, bless the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, Bless be thou, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Prophetic release. Look at what he's doing. An offering to the temple. You, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong when you give based upon where your heart is 
and what God is releasing. I've not heard this before. I have not heard this before. This is a strong one. <laughs> I've not heard this one. The Bible declares that time and chance happened to them all. But I just heard the Lord say, time and favor, not just chance. For too many times, my people have missed time, let alone chance. He's saying that now I'm going to bring forth not only time and chance, but if you miss chance, God is saying, I'm going to give you time and favor. Lord, I receive that right now. Bring forth time and favor with a new flavor. I thank you for reaching out to your people that are watching Living Strong and saying, Prophet Johnson, God is building me back. You best believe he's saying I'm building back everything inside of you that was broken and everything inside of you that was lost and missing. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Something in your life is birthing with expectancy and the Lord is saying take this time to receive time and favor that is coming into your life by this time tomorrow. Some of you are going to have significant and magnificent breakthroughs even before 12 o'clock get here in the hospital bed is going to give up the favor of loved ones that's going to be released because of the fact that you have now received that word of the Lord. It is so amazing that God birthed into you the credentials and the credentials of life. Prophetic release come. You can't let everybody sit and watch and take what belongs to you because you want every I dot. If he don't dot this I, if he don't cross this T, well, you didn't learn the right good till you got in elementary. And some of them still can't hardly write. Well, I better be quiet because I'm talking about me. <laughs> you know, scribble, scribble. So let's just go ahead and let's be practical in life. Let's not make it hard. Have you ever talked to anybody that ever challenged you on everything? They just drive you nuts, don't it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Man, you, you ever talk to anybody you just can't? You can pray till the whole moon turn. I don't even know if the moon is going to even be the moon. The moon will go through every color in the book. The, mean, the moon will go through every 150 crayons that they make turning color and, and still not get an answer. Boy, it's amazing. It is amazing. Prophetic release happening right now. We're going to continue <clears throat> because I... <clears throat> Since that the Lord have something very special to say. I feel a shout out. I feel a shout out. Mississippi, you're logging on. <laughs> Mississippi, you're logging on. Shout, Ohio. Ohio. Oh my God. Hi, Ohio. Thank you. The Bible declares in verse number 11, Thine, O Lord, watch this, is the greatness and the power and the, watch this, glory and the victory. I need to quit. I just need to quit right there. I'm talking about prophetic release. Thine, what God got for you, 
O Lord, is the greatness, it is the power, it is the glory, it is the victory. Not only that, but the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth. This is what God has for you and I. Prophetic release, the glory, the majesty, the victory, the greatness. You know, it goes on talking about the power that is in the heavens and in the earth. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. So once he become head above all, then everything in your life and my life is exalted. Someone right now, the Lord said, you felt like time was running out. You're going to have the best years of your life at 60 years old. Watch God move. They're the person, and I keep hearing this about this hearing aid deal. Something's going on with your ear. Something's going on with a person. I don't, I don't know what it is, but there's a release that God's about to bring in your life. And this is a promising release. There's a person right now, you're thinking about going into rescue. Coast Guard. You will be going into rescuing. You will be going into Coast Guard. There's a person right now, you're thinking about going to, going to um, it's almost like you're in a debate. You're in a debate between sports and, and, and medical school. <laughs> you know what? You can go coach a little league team. That's good. But when they knock the ball over the field and the team is quit playing, you might need to go home and study the book to go to medical school. Listen to God. There's a person right now, the father saying to tell you, again, your heart, you've been concerned about that. He's moving on your behalf. This is about the second time the Lord has called this out to me. I don't know who this is. This is a person's name who starts with a J, female, J-E-N, Jen, Jen, Jen. Almost like a Jennifer. They may call you Jenny or somewhat. You may be in school, and you're probably contemplating um, getting married and going to school and how to deal with all that. You're going to do it all. It's going to work for you. Stop being afraid. Go ahead, jump the broom. It's going to work for you, okay? may not work for the one next door. <laughs> it's going to work for you, though. I've got to hurry. My time is almost up. Watch this. And I like this. <clears throat> Verse number 12. Both. I like this. Not just one both. Riches and honor. What is he saying? Riches and honor. The Lord don't just want you to be rich and dumb. He wants you to be rich with honor, smart. What good is a big pull me out blessing all at once and the next thing you know, after God doesn't bless you real good, you done went and bought up the whole candy store, done bought up the whole chocolate factory and done went and bought every coat from Burlington Coat Factory and done bought every car in the world and the next thing you know, you find out that you got an appointment with Charter by the Sea. And the only reason you got an appointment with those guys is because you went nuts buying everything. A fool in his money shall soon depart. When you sow into it, you go into it. The prophetic release that is taking place for your life right now is the Lord is saying that this is the hour that has come in which he is moving mountains in the lives of the people. And those mountains are moving faster than ever before. Now, I'd like to say to each and every one of you that have been watching, this prophetic release is going to continue, probably even tonight, while we are live on this set. Because my time is winding up, it is coming to a close. And we are getting ready to bring forth the woman of God. And I'd like to say to each and every one of you that when this prophetic release take place, oh God, I'm, I'm going to need another, I don't know how long. God is going to, he's moving in, in increments. He is moving so fast. 
Let me tell you something. The Lord is moving so fast until even before I could think it or speak it out of my mouth, God is already bringing the blessing back. He's got you in what's called now time. And that now time is ready to bring you and I into a great and proper place. Now, I've got to come to a close. But I want to say to you that in this hour, when prophetic release take place every Thursday night, we're going to do it. And I have more time to minister prophetic release. I'm going to pray for each and every one of you because we are preparing to bring forth Pastor Boston, of whosoever will outreach ministry. But Father, I pray for those now that are watching for a great restoration in their life, a great release that they return back to the promise and the prominence of their life. Let them not miss the promise. Continue to bless them and continue to do your will in their life. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Hey, that's my time. We are getting ready to bring on none other than the pastor of whosoever will outreach ministry. And what we're going to do is that we're going to take time and we're going to take a moment just to shift just the reset and to get started. So for those of you who've been saying, Prophet Johnson, I've looked forward to meeting Pastor Boston. Now is going to be your time. I would like to say to you, take this moment while we're prepared. Sit down. Send a seat. Log in, send a donation, and let us know continually how much this ministry has been and is being a blessing unto each and every one of you. Because we know that once the Lord moves, he's not going to stop. I told you before, he bends time. He breaks through. This is why when prophetic release takes place, it brings you to a point to where you no longer have to wait and wonder, God when? God where? God why? There are people that are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Have you ever cared about someone or something so much? And what you cared about and you loved ended up leaving and didn't feel the same way. Hurtful in it. The Lord said, I would never leave you forsake you. They may leave and go after everything else. They may leave and chase after everything else. But when it's all said and done, you've got to have a prophetic release. That means a God-spoken word in your life. I mean, it's such a shame because there's a person that's listening that think they got it all together. No, you don't. The Lord is letting you know that he is your answer. And there's no other way but through Christ. Lord of Lord, King of Kings. You know, I just heard the Lord say something. He said the David anointing. You know what that David anointing is? The anointing to destroy the Goliath that are in your life. Every Goliath that have came up to challenge the God of Israel. 
David said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he shall defy the God of Israel? Well, I'll tell you what. God chose David, not Goliath. Five smooth stones. Five smooth stones. That number of grace. But all it took was one to take him out. One level of grace took him out. Transformation has taken place. Birthing has taken place. And as God began to transform, regardless of how things look like, it's getting off track. He knows how to get you back on track. Temporary. Not permanent. So the best is yet to come. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we're thanking God for each and every one of you.